G'day legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we are checking out the new high power from my friends at Crazy Tube Circuits over in Greece. This is a two-in-one amp style overdrive and booster. The amp side is based on a classic high watt amplifier. In fact, a pair of high watts, which you may be familiar with in the rigs of players like David Gilmore, Alex Lifeson, Jimmy Page, Pete Townsend, you know, the list goes on there. And then we've got a faithful recreation and kind of expansion upon the classic color sound booster. There is a volume control on there. There's a master control, which controls the amount of output. Volume is basically going to control your fuzz. Then you've got a two band EQ on there. You can use the pedals totally independently as well, because there is a built in effects loop on there. So you could place a pedal between them or just use them as separate drives. Let's hear it over a jam. Let's hear some tones in isolation now. I'm going to start out with the high watt inspired side. The controls are fairly self explanatory, but I want you to pay attention to where this two way switch is to select between higher and lower headroom, essentially emulating a 100 watt or a 50 watt power section. Then this three way switch over here, which emulates either the normal input, the bright input, the bright input would be in the up position. And then in the middle, you get the effect of having the two channels bridged. I'm going to start on the normal. So the switch is down over there. Also pay attention to the way the master volume and the volume control interact on here. Neck pickup of my DGT going straight into the pedal. You can also neck pickup of my DGT tapped. I do have a crazy tube circuits compressor and their excellent time delay in line. They're both true bypass pedals though, and they're currently bypass. We'll hear them with this pedal a little bit later, but for now, let's hear the clean sound. Mm -hmm.
really impressed with how well that cleans up with the guitar controls on there and you know to be frank it is just kind of nice to see an amp in a box pedal out there that's not trying to do a Fender or a Marshall style circuit in there. Hi Watts can kind of live a little in both worlds but this has its own voice going on. I really like the mid focus crunch in there and I like the way the onset of the gain is quite gradual in there. It's not like super clean and then all the distortion in there behaves the way you would expect a high headroom amp to work there. So let's do this. Let's dial that in for a slightly cleaner sound. I want to bring in the boost side of this and just play around with it. You can see where I've got the high watt side set up at the moment. I'm on the bright mode. I'm on the high headroom mode as well. Nice and chimey this way, especially on the tapped mode of this neck pickup. The EQ on the boost side has a bass and treble control that are Baxendall style EQ control. So I've just set them in the middle for now. And what I'm going to do is start with the master up a little bit higher and just play around with the difference between the master amount, which is like the overall output and then the volume, which again kind of does the gain or drive thing. There's also a two-way switch on here to give you slightly different flavors out of it. Let's hear it.
I like that you can get everything from those kind of very scuzzy 60s style fuzz sounds out of that to that like thickening agent thing on single notes where it just turns everything into big gooey lead parts. You can use the separate sides of this pedal independently and there is an effects loop. So if you wanted to say place, I don't know, an EQ in between them or a chorus in between them, or you just wanted to use them with say a switching setup and activate each side separately, you can do that as well. What I wanna do is just take the high watt side out of it. I've got a crunchy sound from my amp now and I'm gonna kick in that booster just to see how wild it can make the already crunchy amp sound. <laughs> That's doing what it should do when I clean up my guitar volume and tone controls as well. I like that they've not just got the sound right, but they've got the feel and the interaction with the rest of the rig right there. That is gonna be all for today. I will play you all out with some examples using the high watt side as my core tone. I'll boost it. I'll use the Crazy Tube Circuits compressor and the delay as well. But if you would like to learn more, Check the links in the video description. A big thank you to the Crazy Tube Circuits team for getting me one of these so I could make this video. If you'd like to support what I'm doing here on the channel, again, check the video description. You can get some free stuff as well or come and hang out on my Discord or sign up to my Patreon and access some exclusive content. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.